And I just made two million six hundred and forty two thousand in about eight minutes. So that is definitely the way you want to go. And you can actually even go higher than that. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a ton of money early on. This is going to be the perfect starter's guide for how to make a ton of money early on. So if you didn't find you didn't watch the first episode, link up top and down below in the description. But once you get to the space anomaly, that's where we're at right now. There is an amazing way to make money really, really fast in No Man's Sky. So let's head to the back over to the market area in the back where you can buy a whole bunch of upgrades. You can totally make a ton of money using just a few upgrades for either a base or if you want to make a farm, you could totally do that too. So first thing we're going to do is the base uh, upgrades are going to be the easiest way to go. So come on over here to the research station. Now, a lot of these you won't be able to buy or you, you will have to wait because, I mean, some of this stuff is going to cost a ton to get. But if you want to get the biodome and start a farm, there you go. It's right here. You're going to have to actually go all the way down this tree. But first thing you want to buy, the easiest way to make money is actually to get a medium refiner. All you're going to need is 10 salvage data. That's the buried technology that's underground. You get 10 of those, you can come to the Space Anomaly and buy your medium refiner right here. Buy that thing. Oh yeah, there you go. Now if you do want to go the hard route, if you want to make a farm that's going to constantly make you a ton of money, you could totally do that by getting a biodome. Let's get a, a cylindrical uh, room right here. There you go, that's three. You're going to need five for the straight corridor. You're going to need another five for the glass roof corridor. And then you're going to need another ten for your biodome. So that's why I don't recommend getting to a farm. Because getting all the way down to your farm is going to be hard. This doesn't even count buying all your crops. And so if you go over to your farming tab over here. Let me get all the way over to it. Holy cow. Yeah, see, notice uh, I'm on a fresh save. So nothing is unlocked yet. But here, here's your farming and I mean, I don't even have enough for all this stuff, but you have to buy your hydroponic tray and then you can start unlocking all of the blueprints for your materials. Don't want to go that route. Not yet. This is more advanced. So don't even worry about farming right now. The other thing you can do if you really want to, if you're really going to go down the farming route, head over to the synthesis laboratory over here. It's right between the multi-tool and the exosuit, or the exocraft, excuse me, uh, kiosk. Go over here, and in this one, you could actually unlock a lot of uh, materials, a lot of building blocks, to make a whole bunch of stuff to sell later on. I would highly recommend coming over here just because you could actually unlock a lot of this stuff to, to build upgrades for your suit as well. So, just keep in mind, they're going to cost 250 nanites apiece. My first recommendation, always get that Atlas Pass right over here. Atlas Pass version 1. Unlock that baby right there. Now, you can get 2 and 3 if you want to, but you're going to need Atlas Pass version 1 in order to open those red circular uh, tubes or cylindrical tubes. You need the Atlas Pass 1 even to get those, so I would, I would say get at least that one, and then... Get your microprocessor. You're going to need that for a lot of stuff. Unlock that. That's another 250. So we're up to 500 nanites right now. And after that, you're free to go whatever you want to do. Whatever you think you're going to get. Or as whatever you can afford. So, I mean, if you're limited on nanites, you don't have to get any more than that. But microprocessor is an essential thing. A lot of things need a microprocessor in order to upgrade. I mean, I would, I would recommend Solar Mirror. Get that baby while you're here. Or your magnetic resonator, get that as well. All of these things go into upgrades for your suit or your multi-tool or your starship. So definitely get all of this stuff if you can, if you can. I'm going to buy all of that. I'm going to buy my Atlas Pass 2 and my Atlas Pass 3. Now on the next page, if you hit RB or R1, if you're on PlayStation, you go to a different page and this is where all of your farming ideas are going to come from 
all of these things you can make and sell for a profit. So, but the big thing is it's in a big tree. You're gonna need a ton of nanites in order to unlock all of this stuff. So again, this is very deep, deep money-making stuff. I don't recommend it unless you're really, really advanced. All right, so let's back out. And I'm gonna show you how to make money really early on just using a medium refiner. So let's go down to a base or some place we can place our medium refiner. You need to have a base location for this to work. Let's go. So now you're at your base. Now we can make our medium refiner. So let's do that. I'm gonna make it inside. That way I can make sure to stay away from the elements. But open up your building menu. Go all the way over to your advanced technology tab, which is gonna be right here. It looks like the little teleporter symbol. Go to your medium refiner. Now look at that. We're gonna need 100 magnetized ferrite and five dihydrogen jelly for each medium refiner we make. The more you can make, the faster you can do this. So just keep that in mind. But we need some dihydrogen jelly and some magnetized ferrite. So let's get that going. We have our portable refiner right here. It's full of uh, fuel. So all we gotta do is put in our uh, ferrite dust or pure ferrite, whichever one you have. Pure ferrite is what you get directly to magnetized ferrite, but you could also put ferrite dust in there in order to get pure ferrite and then you can just keep going level by level until you get your magnetized ferrite. Whatever you need to do in order to get there, go for it, all right? So we're almost here and boom, put that in my exosuit. And now also, let me look and see how much I have. I have, oh, I need 10 more. So I definitely need to do my, my uh, regular ferrite dust. I don't have enough. So I'm gonna have to actually do this. So let me, give me a minute. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so we have enough magnetized ferrite now, but now we need dihydrogen jelly, all right? So what you're gonna need to make dihydrogen jelly, let's build up, bring up our build menu again with the A button or X if you're on PlayStation. Go down and you'll see my recipe for dihydrogen jelly. I need 40 dihydrogen crystals, those blue crystals that are on the ground. I need 40 of those to make dihydrogen jelly. The jelly part, okay? Now luckily I have a whole bunch of dihydrogen jelly, but let me show you a trick if you don't have enough. So let's say you only have enough to make one. It took 40 of them to make that one dihydrogen jelly, right? Let's go back to our portable re refiner and let's put in our dihydrogen jelly into the refiner. It took 40 to make it, but we're gonna get 50 dihydrogen crystals back. Look at that. So we actually created 10 dihydrogen crystals out of that. And you can keep doing that over and over. So if we, uh, if we actually do it here, let me show you. Let's make, if we make uh, 10, you see, oh, I'm making 10 dihydrogen jellies. It's gonna cost 400 dihydrogen crystals, right? Now, if I put it in my portable refiner, I put all 10 of them in there. It's gonna give me 500 back. So I just gained 500 or I gained 100 dihydrogen crystals. The more you can make, the more you can convert over. So definitely, definitely, I mean, look at that. It's easy as pie, look at that, boom, easy as pie. So you definitely wanna be able to, if you are low on dihydrogen crystals, you could totally do it that way in order to get it. So, and that is actually an introduction into what we're gonna be doing with the medium refiner. So once we, have the uh, materials we need to make our medium refiner. Let's pop this baby down. And the other great thing about it is you don't need power for this at all. You just put it down and now it's good to go. Now you can use it and you're good to go. You don't need to put fuel. You don't need to put anything into this refiner. It is just awesome. And the benefit is you have two input slots and that, it, that works to our benefit because if you put Let's go with uh, cobalt because cobalt's really easy. You can find this in a lot of caves. Those like cave icicles that come down. I know they have an official name. I'm not smart enough for that. I'm not a cave scientist, but you can get cobalt from the caves. Let's put our cobalt in there. Actually, you know what? Let's only put 10 in there. We'll put 10 cobalt in there and then we'll take our oxygen and we're going to put 20 in the, in the, uh, in the inputs and so now look at this we have 10 or yeah we have 10 cobalt and 20 let's put 10 oxygen in there so we have 10 of each that'll give us 25 ionized cobalt 
which is really, really valuable, and I'll show you why in a second. So we just put all that in there. We got ionized cobalt from refining regular cobalt and oxygen together. But look at that. Let me put this in my uh, exosuit. I'm going to show you why. Because if you look at it, let me, let me bring it up right here. Regular cobalt sells for $198 per for each one. Ionized cobalt sells for $401. And so you're getting a little bit more than double. So normally it's like, okay, it takes two to make it, you're good to go, right? Actually, what we just did was we expanded. We did an expansion on our ionized cobalt. And the better thing is you can even in expand even further by putting ionized cobalt in here. Let's put 10 in there like we did before. And then we put our oxygen. We're gonna put 10 in there like before, except for instead of 25, we just got 30 out of it. So we're making even more. 10 ionized cobalt and 10 oxygen. That's only 20 materials. 20 total materials turns into 30 ionized cobalt. And so you're making a ton of ionized cobalt. And the better thing is, you can actually add more oxygen to this mixture. And now we just had 60. So. 10 ionized cobalt can turn into 60 ionized cobalt. Oh, it gets better and better. You can keep doing this cycle over and over. Like get your, your 60, turn it in there. Now it's 360. Look at this. We are just making tons and tons of ionized cobalt. The secret is you need a whole bunch of oxygen. So go to a space station, buy a whole bunch of oxygen, and you can make a ton of ionized cobalt. So buy it or go find it out on the atmosphere, on the uh, the planet floor. Like go pick up, uh, you know, the plants. Go to the exploder plants. You can go get a whole bunch there. And we can make, look at this, we can make a ton. Look at this, boom. We can even make more. Now we're making 2,000 ionized cobalt. And that's only the third time we, re we refined it. Are you kidding me? We're about to make 2,000. And this is why it's taking a little bit longer now. The more you make, the longer it's gonna take. So this is why there's a benefit to having more than one refiner going at the same time. While this one's cooking, you can make another refiner and totally have that one going at the same time as well. And you could just have a farm of refiners that are making cobalt, ionized cobalt constantly. And then you can go to a space station, sell your stacks of ionized cobalt for tons and tons of money. I mean, look at this. We're making $200,000 off of this ionized cobalt. Let's actually see how far I can get with it. And we're almost there. It's been about seven minutes and I finally got to the end. Oh, wait, wait, almost, almost. And a little bit more I can make. Okay, almost got to the, I got to the end in about eight minutes or so. And I just made two million six hundred and forty two thousand in about eight minutes so that is definitely the way you want to go and you can actually even go higher than that if you want to use actual uh car or not carbon chlorine chlorine is actually worth even more and it does the same thing so ionized cobalt is worth 401 bucks per unit so for every one ionized cobalt you make 401 dollars when you sell it chlorine for every one chlorine you sell you make 602 so technically chlorine is the better option but early on your best bet is to use cobalt because you can find that anywhere chlorine might be a little expensive to get or just hard to find and so i would always recommend just go with cobalt to begin with you're still going to be making tons and tons of money doing that. But if you have the choice, go with chlorine. It is always the better option. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and you're making tons of money in No Man's Sky really, really fast. If you are, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time.